We're backstage at Yes in Manchester with the ninth wave. Maybe don't have that in. <laughs> <laughs> Mixed feelings. It's very exciting to be back on the road, but yeah, these are probably the last shows for a good while, so mixed emotions. so excited for these shows we have like the amount of people that have been messaging us saying that they've been you know they're like travel we've got people coming over from belgium paris like um all like all over because we've only got these three dates in london manchester and glasgow people are traveling from all over the country to like see us in these cities like that they are absolutely nowhere near and like that is the most heartwarming thing i think like um and it's it's gonna be incredibly incredibly emotional uh, but it's going to be good. It's going to be a cathartic release. Yeah. Taking a bit of a break from being a band. Um, we've been a band for a long time, and I guess we're all we've all got other stuff we want to have some time to explore. Um, so yeah, it feels like a the, a good time for us to do that because we've you know, we put out a lot of EPs, an album, and we're about to do a second album. Or put it out rather. Um, yeah, so just got other stuff going on really feels like we've kind of said what we need to say for now um and we need a bit of space to breathe life into the other things that we've all got going on um and yeah maybe one day in the future we'll be able to come back to this yeah it doesn't mean it's the end of the road in any sense but we just yeah we all need i think the i think the um the lockdown kind of um having all that time like obviously separated and um like more time to like really kind of you know you're not writing as a band you're writing like um as an individual and I think that's uh, kind of made us realize our like separate inspirations for things and there's other things that we want to kind of like uh, divulge and see where we can go and then maybe come back to it one day like knowing a lot more about our own little kind of pockets and then see what else we can do from there and bring up bring more inspiration like into our projects <laughs>
it's uh, pretty different to most of the stuff we've put out in the past. Um, it's a lot more sparse, I would say. We um, there's a lot more. There's a bigger mix of um, like kind of sonic soundscapes as well as like a mix of like the kind of more organic uh, sounds and uh, textures that we've been in the studio uh, working on. More open, more open with our lyrics. So um, I've started a wee electronic music project called Health and Beauty, which will be starting up fairly soon. I'm just uh, getting ready to launch my own thing called, I'm going under the name Last Boy. Um, just booked my first gig as that. Uh, there's going to be fiddles and other fun stuff, so look out for the fiddles. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of an improvement on last week. You're doing well. Um, I'm just going under my own name, Charlo, doing like audiovisual electronics. Um, I was performing last week in Glasgow. I've got another gig next week. Um, I'm also doing visuals at like club nights and stuff like that. I'm trying to get better at what I do. Um, I've got some things bubbling under the surface. I don't really know when they are going to surface because I can't ever make my mind up about anything. Um, but I will one day, maybe in the next 100 years, be releasing <laughs> things under uh, Sinclair. Some, maybe. I don't know, it might change. Lots to look forward. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 